Sometimes new forms of cooperation reveal unexpected dimensions. Yeah, it's always a delight to be one of the first people to see behind the layers of, of a painting, and it's really the, the secret life of paintings. In the field of art conservation, multidisciplinary collaboration can help a work of art survive. A problem that we don't see with our eyes because it only happens after a long time. It's not the first time that hardcore scientists and professionals from art history and conservation work together in the Netherlands. They did, but until recently, only on a project basis. Really very good initiatives that we have undertaken. However, what we really want and, and need is that we have one institute where all these things that we envision come together. Now, there's NICAS, the Netherlands Institute for Conservation, Art and Science. I think that is, that is a strong point. We have, we have technical expertise, we have historical expertise, we have conservation expertise, which is actually pretty unique in the world. And this is what a multidisciplinary approach means in real life. So here is the storage. All over the world, museums lend and borrow art. Precious crates are shipped across the road or through the air. But how damaging can transportation be for a work of art? After maybe two or three shipments, you start noticing something vague happening, which probably means more particles will fall off. Pastel paintings are considered some of the most fragile art objects. Leila Sauvage works in Delft and Amsterdam on a project that focuses on 18th century pastels. The risk with vibrations is that you lose this powder and at the end what is left are only the fibres and you lose the drawing. It turns out that oil paint still changes even after centuries. The problem is that oil paints are reactive. They respond to the environment. They respond to me when I do something as a conservator. And that is essential knowledge for anyone involved in cleaning and restoring oil paintings. Because restoration means a drastic change. Well, this picture shows um, a lot of degradation from, uh, from the formation of lead soaps. You see many vertical stripes. This is an example of a painting that shows that Nikas is needed. One needs to know about paint chemistry and physics before dirt and varnish can be removed safely. And so by turning on the electrical discharge, we ionize the gas. We... Working on a nanoscale, now conservators, physicists and chemists of the University of Amsterdam are ready to look for new, safer methods and protocols to clean paintings. What we can do is, for example, one idea is to make shorter the time of the intervention or uh, the mechanical action that you use to, to make this contact and remove what you want to remove. Infrared technology was used to study these large canvases after they were discovered a few years ago in Italy. But the paintings itself were considered to be lost, so it was a remarkable uh, discovery when two fragments turned up in Italy. A team of art historians, conservators and chemists discovered that they were produced for the Bühningkammer, a period room currently on view in the Rijksmuseum. Uh, this small uh, border and next to it uh, a greyish-pinkish marble imitation directly points to the design sketch of Andries uh, designed for the Bühningkammer. These findings fit in a larger research project concerning Dutch historical interior paintings a wide-angle approach that brings together different experts may even result in a new type of art history. And this development is of course only possible because there are new, so much better uh, techniques now of examining artworks, also techniques that will be developed in, in Nikas to answer our questions in a better way. He is an expert in the field of visualization and an authority in data fusion, Professor Robert Erdman. What you're seeing here is a new visualization technology that's running in, in a web browser. His projects are in fact major ICT challenges. We can see the, the handwriting, if you will. We can see the sketches that are beneath the painting. We can see hidden figures. 
his collaborations with other disciplines often result in new information that is, so to say, quite appealing. So we can see the sketch that Bosch used to plan out the, the face. I think we're making real progress because we can see things that we could never see before. You can think of it as a, as a full body scan of an artwork, if you wish. And, and, and by doing that, then of course you know that you get a lot more information. Nikash will research and publish on themes like conservation treatments, material dynamics, and the origin and meaning of works of art. Last week, I, I really had people from the industry telling me the research that you're doing, we can apply directly for the research that we are doing in our field. It seems the new Nikas Institute is already producing results. The mix of hardcore science, technology, conservation and art history is powerful. True collaboration, if you have true collaboration, that by itself is not only a success factor for the people involved, but also the results that they come up with is definitely going to be different. It will alter the way that we look at art objects. Nikash is a powerful answer to conservation challenges, now and in the future.